and welcome to the uh, Ascent slash Antrix uh, quest creator, written by myself, DJ Ravine. Um, this is for wowps.org, and as you can see, um, there is a little bit of a web page preview, so you can be sure this is my page. Um, just a little demonstration, all this is is a little simple creator that helps the automation of quests on Ascent and Antrix. It's been tested on some of the newer revisions and the older revisions. The quest database hasn't changed too much, so shouldn't be too much of an issue. Alright, we'll uh, go through a quick little demo of what we've got going here. Um, when you first get the uh, quest creator, it'll come in a, uh, a RAR file. Basically, basically has all that crap in there. It's pretty simple. Extract that into a simple folder. Um, mine's dumped into there, so yeah. Um, when you run the thing, it will pop up and show something like this, which is basically just a you know simple tabbed up uh, you know explosion of the uh, quest database. Um, it goes through and shows all the different fields. It's pretty simple. Um, it's not too complex. Even most basic users could use it in you know within the first 10-15 minutes of understanding it. Um, We'll go through the options. Um, if the database does change any time, you know, the, uh, the quest area, you can use this section here to uh, move things around, like, you know, grab the type there, you can rename it uh, if you want, or you can move it up a level or down a level. It's pretty simple. Um, you can add your own column names, you know, um, if it, they created one for, say, you know, uh, timer stopping, um, you know, creates it in there and that automatically goes straight into the database uh, for the ex uh, for when it exports into SQL um, and turns that back to default. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to use a pre-made quest, so say Skirmish at Echo Ridge, it'll automatically go through and put all the defaults in. You can actually go through and check all the other ones. This is how I would go through it at first if you're learning and learn what some of these things are. Check in game and then come back out and see what some of these little values mean. Um, you know, and kind of work out, do a bit of backtracing. Now you can use all this stuff here, uh, and that's all your, your main text entries, um, title, you know, the quest, details, objectives, uh, the multiple variables, you know, what rewards get given to where, uh, the items for different things, uh, what you have to do for the quest, whether it be, you know, kill the, uh, the ID 80, you gotta kill it 12 times, and there's your choice of the items down the bottom, um, you know, different IDs for the items, and how many you get of each if you choose. There's other different sections, I mean, if you use a different one, say, uh, I don't know, I think it's ride, uh, the Ride of the Lightning, you get heaps more options, plus you got to have a previously required quests, and you get an item at the end of it as well, which is a required item. But for this one, we're just going to use Skirmish at Echo Ridge. When you've created all of this stuff, uh, you know, entered it all, you go to the SQL preview, and you can go, and it'll actually show you the whole thing, what it's created, and you can just copy and paste that. For uh, Just for this value, uh, we're actually going to change the entry ID to be something ridiculously big because obviously it's already in the database, this quest, because it's just a complete dump. See, there's the new ID, uh, the title of it, it's all broken down. Uh, the only thing you might have to watch out for is see how that's a delimiter, the little, uh, you know, italic thingy, whatever you want to call it. The, if you've got apostrophes in the actual thing, uh, in the main strings, in the text variables, you will have slight errors, so just be careful there. But okay, after all that's done, what you'll do is you'll grab all that stuff, uh, and that way you can, you know, copy it all. Then what I would do is I would then open up SQL Yog. Um, yeah, I'm using Vista, like you me, so I've got a few extra little features. Um, okay, well, this here is the SQL Yog. You log into your database, you go to your uh, Ascent or um, Entrix database, because they'll basically be the same thing, and find the Quest one, which I've already actually found at the moment, but where'd it go? There you go, right there, Quest. Right click on there, View Data. Um, then you click this Show All once it's done. It'll only show the first hundred or so at first, and you click show all, that way it'll actually show them all. And you can actually see at first, there is no quest, that is called 8888888, whatever the thing that it was. You copy the thing from the other window, paste the query in here, 
change the query right click there execute all queries and it should go one row affected meaning it has actually modified the database itself um, then you go back to the table data it should take a little bit to reload it all and then you go back to the bottom voila you've got now your new quest in there max level minimum levels required races and it's all in there pretty nicely um, you can actually go across and look at the text it's in there and all that kind of stuff um, so yeah that's just a quick demo of what's possible with it so yeah have fun guys and don't get up to too much mischief check out my website wowps.org and yeah take it easy see ya